Welcome to the Revel Technologist Daily Journal. This is part three. Guys, I cannot believe that I've still got the consistency going. This is all very new to me. Constant content, learning lots. So quick reminder, you guys asked, can I share with you how I'm going to build a content channel from scratch to wherever it ends? So here it is. It's the Revel Technologist. And uh, I'm going to share with you a daily journal on on how I'm doing. Um, not bad so far. Well, we've got a couple of things done. We've got a logo. We've got some ideas. We've we've kind of made out a plan. But now we had to focus on a content plan. So today I really want to talk to you a couple of things around what do you need to do on planning content? What have I done to get the content right for Rebel Technologist? From the last show, we already know who our audience is, um, startup people in the technology space, founders, um, large organizations, executives, people who work there who are struggling with technology and want to know what to do uh, or how to do it, inspiration that they're looking for to you know, face this tough day. Uh, you could be a business person, a technologist. I'm going to try to help you with lessons that I've learned and, and I'm going to find interesting people to interview. But let's start with the content. So we've done a bit of work on the content and I'm going to share my screen with you to see if we can figure this out. So my favorite tool is a tool called Miro, M-I-R-O. Um, fantastic tool, I have to admit. It's, it's, it's really good at... Uh, <laughs> brainstorming and all that kind of stuff. Um, not too sure if you can really see it, but it's okay. So here's uh, what I do. I've essentially got a content strategy. Not bad. What I'm going to focus on is the first step, which is storytelling. And I want to share with you some of my thinking around storytelling. So I chose Rebel Technologist because it's going to take a revolution because AI is accelerating the world. So it's going to take a revolution in ordinary businesses just to keep up. So we're looking for a rebel and we're looking for someone who's inspired about technology. So in the content journey, I'm thinking of spending a bit more time getting into what is a rebel technologist? What are the key traits? What have uh, rebels in the past done? What have technologies, uh, technologists in the past done? I want to combine those two and kind of figure out what does it take to be a rebel technologist? Are you a rebel technologist? Are you an aspiring rebel technologist? Do you want to join this revolution? Going to go into a little bit about what's challenging business at the moment, where the opportunities for business lie. For instance, in the world of AI, how does my business use it? How does my call center use it? Will it impact my call center? Could be many different examples. I want to talk about the ways of working, leadership, the speed of technology, how it's adopted, key cultural principles like failing forward. Um, I want to discover more about who the actual rebel technologist is out there. If you're out there, I'm going to put it out there and you think you match this description and you want to have a chat, please ping me. Um, we've already got a bunch of people reaching out and we're having discussions to see what is a rebel technologist and how can they contribute. So please, let's look out what we can or, 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 or look out for people that could be rebel technologists and have a chat to them. So traits really important. And then I'm keen to dig into uh, uh, the changes, the what it would take to go from um, struggling to getting it right. I'm looking for stories. So we're going to put all that together. So really, that's the storyline. Guys, I probably don't have it right. Okay, I probably don't have it right. But I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it. So I've got a bunch of ideas here that I want to test. Let me share those ideas with me uh, with you. Um, I'm going to start asking questions. Who do I think are the world's top rebel technologists at the moment? What makes a great rebel technologist or not, right? Well, let's, let's look at the, the other side of it. Let's see if, if people are interested in that. 
Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a, a world ranking. Imagine, imagine if we had all the top rebel technologies, you could vote. I oh, know that's a bit hectic anyway. Um, that's probably a poor idea. Uh, interviewing other technologists. I like sharing a lot of the content that I've learned, but also like garnering from other experts in the space. I want to provide opinions around what technologies can be used to evolve businesses, tackle some of those challenges. Everyone seems to talk very high level about what we need to do and no one actually tells you how to do it. Have you been in those presentations at work? Everyone fluffers, fluffers, <laughs> fluffs over the, 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 the kind of main points. You just want to get your teeth into. You're just going, I'm going to kill this person. Just help me. Guys, if you're struggling, reach out to me and maybe I can help you or come on the show and share some of the challenges you've got because this is not going to be a perfect ride. And uh, talk a little bit about different types of technology, um, the impact of technology on society, demonstrate some really cool technologies like Miro. I've never tried it before. It was my team who started using this. It's, it's used for everything, literally uh, planning backlogs, linking it to Jira, executing on agile projects, you name it. This is a very, very powerful tool. I then actually started thinking about this chat GPT guide. And this is the very first kind of content that I wanted to test. And it's done incredibly well. So here's an example of testing it. It did very well. We built Twitter threads, LinkedIn carousels. This is what got me here. Um, we started building Udemy courses. <laughs> On, on LinkedIn business, Peter Alka and myself are now, I think there's three or four courses, top 10 in the world on Udemy business. So it, it, it took a lot of getting right. We, we haven't done anything on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, but maybe those will be future channels. Talking about channels, that's also um, a really important uh, part of the strategy. Let me see if I can find it. There it is, content format. So I had a couple of thinking about... What will it take to generate all this content? Polls, social media posts, medium articles, blog posts. You start, you know, it's, it's quite nerve wracking. Everyone's like, build a channel. But where, where am I gonna find people who are interested on this? What kind of content format are they gonna like? Do they want video costs? Do they want podcasts? Do they want live video broadcasts? You know, I'm going to try it all. Why not? Why not? I, I do a lot of live streaming, but not of me, of my kids at school. Well, not actually in school, but kids playing sports, whether it's rugby and hockey. If you go to my personal channel, you'll see lots of that. Brit Sinclair, Brit Sinclair. No, no, I'm just kidding. Go check it out. I think it's pretty good. Um, I then started thinking, well, what else could I be doing? I could be doing keynotes. Um, I could be doing courses. Yes, I could put all this content into Git repositories. Um, truth be told, I've never, ever, ever set up a, a Git repository. I think I might have one from many years, but I put nothing in it. What a great place to share content for everybody. Should I be doing that kind of uh, uh, content? It's also interesting. Then let's look at the types of content. So I was thinking about what should I test? And I've been going to find some tools to help me with this. Um, I actually did a number of polls a while back where I was trying to figure out what kind of course content we could be doing or guides and, and asked a couple of questions. Top of the pile was learn something new. Then it was the opinions. Then it was uh, how to's, ways of work demonstrations and at about three or four polls so it's not a hundred percent accurate this definitely isn't in order but it taught me a lot about what we need to to get into a lot of people have been asking me well how on earth does ai solve my customer problems or how do i use ai in my business yes Myself, Mike and Print own an artificial intelligence consultancy. Yes, we focus on machine learning and data. How this is going to impact your business? Well, let's do a little bit of work. And maybe it's a journal like this. Let's help you figure it out. A technique to use the tools and technology to solve the right problems. So guys, I, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I am trying to keep them short and punchy 
and make sure it's helpful. And occasionally I might be funny and occasionally I might be dull and boring. Just let me know in the comments. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it.